we're talking about is you've already found yourself in a bad position, right? Whether I had open guard, right, full guard here, I mean, it's going to be a lot harder for him to access a weapon if I were in full guard. Uh, probably better contacts that you had here. And exactly what he's doing right there is different. And I want you guys to consider, right, if they're clearing a garment, right, and they're going for the weapon, I do not want that weapon on me. If he's going from behind the back, right, he put his hand behind the back, I'd be wanting to be doing something and not let that weapon come out. So keep it in mind, we're going worst case scenario here. It is already on me. I'm already in the line of fire. If he wanted to pull the trigger here, I am shot and I have to continue the fight here, right? Okay? He's probably threatening me. It's probably some sort of threat. If not, you got shot, fight, fight. Okay? Get two hands on that weapon so the weapon's gonna malfunction. Your two-handed cupping technique is imperative here. If he's threatening me, match the height of the weapon, whatever he's doing, I need to redirect and control the weapon. Notice the body defense here. And then it's just combining your beginner Krav Maga kickoff. If you are not punching and trying to control, you're gonna come back in the line of fire. Everything I'm doing here is not letting off here. I'm putting a foot on and now everything Everything. It's where the yellow guns are nicer on your hand. And now I'm doing everything to create separation from him and that gun. Right? Find my own gun. Maybe I'm going for that. Back away. Back away. What's going on and what's the context from here? Is he charging me? Is he moving away? Right? Is he making? Right? Body language that says I don't want anymore. Right? In which case I'm gonna call 911 and disengage. All right, not justified to fire there. So, keep the context in mind. It's already out on you. You did not, you're just there. You did, have not an, have, you did not have an opportunity to control that weapon in their belt line, whatever it was. Are we all on the same page there? All right, and don't forget what I was telling the teenagers. If you guys aren't good with yes and no, I'll take, I'll take some grunts, whatever, as long as I know you guys all understand. For me here, right? Matt, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm redirecting line of fire. See that body defense. I'm cupping the hammer portion of the weapon and I am punching for everything I have here. Everything. And now I want to cause him some pain and I'm going to start smashing him and then I'm going to be moving and working my get up. It's also a reason for you guys to practice your weak side get up because putting that gun on the ground in your standard, right? But I know I had the same problem when I'm getting up from the ground the way I'd like to with the gun in my hand. Uh-oh, I've got to now do it my weak side. So from here, one, redirect the line of fire, making that body defense. I'm trying to control that weapon. This is what I'm doing. I can get a knee on the belly as well, guys. Any of your stuff, knee on the belly, uh, foot on the hip, knee here. That kind of crosses me up doesn't feel great, I can go here, I feel better, right? See what works for you, you know, put a foot on and then start stomping them off. And now from here, I've got to transition, right? And make a get up. And what am I justified to do from there? Is that weapon malfunctioning and all those other things? You know, jump into a citizen defender class and make sure right, you're getting some of that fundamental firearms. Questions? Keep that context in mind, guys. Please, please, it was last week, right? There's people starting in a rear naked choke and you're giving your partner the rear wrong context. You drawing and pretending to draw that weapon and I'm seeing you draw that weapon every time is training me to wait for that weapon to come out. And now I don't wanna wait that long, right? I found myself there found myself in that worst case scenario. Got it? So we're not training to be like, oh look, they're gonna go for a gun. Here, put it all the way in my face. I know the defense. The defense would be control that weapon as soon as you recognize that weapon. Don't let it come into your chest or face. Got it? All right, three, two, one, go.